Hello class, welcome back sa ating panghuling session nitong chapter 11. So nandirito pa rin tayo sa part ng programming language na section ng ating chapter. However, class ano, karamihan dito sa mga ipapakita ko sa inyo ay hindi ko na e-explain. Okay? I will leave it to you as a reading assignment or reading material. Let's say Although, somehow, yung mga iba dito ano, ay meron lang akong ipopoint or i-emphasize ng mga terminologies or mga explanation ng konte para maintindihan ninyo or maging familiar kayo doon sa mga terminologies. So, let's, so let's say, oh, meron tayong tinatawag na application generators. At yung hinighlight ko dito is that itong application generator is a program na nagkikreate ng mga source code or machine code from a specification of the required functionality and this are this works best with menu driven tools and graphical user interfaces okay so parang ganito po siya ano kasi ang application generator it may be in the form of a report writer a form or a menu generator so parang meron ako kailangan na na mga details or mga data or information and then, I need an application generator para mabigay kung ano man yung kinakailangan ko, kung ano yung request ko. Okay, so eto po, ano, this is an example of a form design ang, ng isang application generator coming from Microsoft Access. Okay, macros. O macros, uh, I'm not sure ano, kung na-encounter ninyo ito sa Excel, especially may mga macros kasi sa Excel. When we are talking of macros or macro for singular, it is a series of statements na nag instruct sa isang program kung paano makapag-complete ng isang task. Actually, class, hindi lamang po ito sa, ano no, sa Excel. It can be in a word processing or even database programs. Kasi ang ginagawa po ng macro is to allow the users para ma-automate yung routine pag may mga repetitive, ano no, mga actions, or even difficult tasks in application software. Okay? So, check na lang po nito ng mga additional information dito about sa macros. Now, ang mga susunod na mga slides will be talking about web page development. Okay? Web developer, ibig sabihin, ito yung designer ng web page. You remember sa ating mga uh, previous months ago, ano, meron akong pina-design sa inyo na web page, di ba? Coming from a web host, no? So, on that sense, you become a designer of the web. Uh, you are a web developer for that purpose, no? Now, marami pong mga techniques na ginagamit for creating a web page. Ang pinaka-kilala dyan, popular, is the HTML. Hypertext Markup Language, no? And this is ano, used to format documents for display on the web. So, actually, ma-access ma ninyo yung source codes, no? yung HTML, from, from, the, ano, no? from the websites, doon sa mga web pages. Pwede nyo pong makita yon. Now, meron tayong X, XHTML that is simply your extensible HTML. And ang silbi naman nito is to enable websites to be displayed more easily on microbrowsers. Para maging compatible sila, ano, pag smartphone yung gamit mo at saka mga iba pang mga mobile devices. Lalong-lalo na, di ba, let's say, o may mga applications na pwede mo nang ma-view dito sa yung mga cellphone. Unlike before, nung nag-aaral ako, ano, yung mga web programs or yung mga, let's say, meron akong i-access na email, no? Tapos, i-access ko ito sa aking laptop. Hindi ko pa siya ma-access sa cellphone. Kasi hindi pa siya ganun ka-compatible. So, extensible hypertext markup language helps no or enable websites na ma-display ng maganda sa mga micro-browsers. Kasi syempre iba, ba Yung mga, ano no, iba yung laki, iba yung sizes nung naka-display sa screen, sa monitor, ano, as compared sa mga mobile devices. Okay? Ang HTML and the XHTML, clarification lang, they are not actually programming languages. Okay, but they are languages that have specific rules for defining yung placement at saka yung format ng text, ng graphics, ng videos, and audio on a web page. No? So, they are not really 
programming languages but more of they command no paano yung placement paano yung positioning ng mga text and graphics and other media okay so that's all about html and x html so ito ano example po for the uh, ano no for the H x html tapos ano yung magiging itsura niya coming from this one okay O, meron din tayong tinatawag na XML and WML. Pag XML, that is Extensible Markup Language. Ano yung XHTML? Extensible HTML. Ito naman, Extensible Markup Language, XML. Now, this is a popular format, increasingly popular format for sharing data that allows web developers to create or customize tags as well as predefined tags used for developing a single website whose content can be formatted to display appropriately on various devices. Ang WML stands for Wireless Markup Language and this is a subset of XML no? for wireless devices usually because this allows web developers na makapag-design ng mga pages specifically for micro-browsers. Okay? So, ito, na, ito po ang mga additional info, no? additional techniques. Now, ito, papabasa ko na lang po ito sa inyo as you're reading, ano, two applications of XML are RSS 2.0 and then the Atom specification. Okay, you can pause this video lecture no? para makita at mabasa po ninyo ang nilalaman nitong slide. Okay, o, next, ito din, hindi ko na po ito explain sa inyo but these are usually mga top-ups, ano? scripts, applets, servlets, and ActiveX controls, mga additional na ano no, markup languages na tumutulong sa mga browsers, papaano i-display yung text o yung image, papaano mag-set up ng mga lists, ng mga buttons, at marami pa pong iba. Okay? So, this one, and also this one. Okay? This one, about JavaScript, Practical Extraction Report Language, and hypertext preprocessor. Kanina ito, no, meron din dito about the scripting language. Pakicheck po nito. Okay, but basically, itong scripting language, ito po yung mga yon. The JavaScript, the Perl, the PHP, the Rex, okay, or Restructured Extended Executor, the TCL or the Tool Command Language, and then the Visual Basic Script Edition or the VB Script. Okay, so yan po yan. Now, meron din tayong tinatawag na dynamic HTML. Meron tayong HTML, may XT, XHTML, meron tayong XML and WML. Meron din tayong dynamic HTML. Bakit siya dynamic? Kasi di ba magagano na ngayon, ang daming mga animation, ang no? daming graphics at uh, para maging visually appealing yung experience natin when, when browsing webs, no? when, when browsing the internet. So, this include more graphical interest and interactivity in web page kasi more animated siya and responsive to user interaction. Let's say, for example, no, colors change, font size grow, objects appear and disappear as user moves the mouse, animation dances around the screen. O, di ba, sa mga kabataan, yun yung hilig, ano? yun yung kagandahan. No? Parang nag enjoy sila pag yun yung nakikita nila. Now, we also have Ruby on Rails. And this is an open source framework for developing object-oriented and database-driven ng mga websites. So, more of database-driven. Ito, ano? Mga database-driven websites. Okay. Now, dito, I want you to be, ano, no? To read this one. Uh, Web 2.0 Program Development. Meron po tayo nung Ajax at saka nung RSS. Um, Ajax is Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. Okay, pakibasa po nito and pa-take note, ano po itong API? Application Programming Interface. Okay? Oh, meron din tayong additional info dito about web page authoring which we have the following authoring programs, ano, mga popular daw. <laughs> the Dreams Weaver. Ah, sorry. The Dream Weaver, this one. The Expression Web, The Flash, and The SharePoint Designer. Although, ano, as uh, as time flies, as time goes by, no, yung mga popular dati, nasasapawan na yan ng mga bagong versions or mga bagong programs. 
Halimbawa, example lang ano, yung TikTok. Di ba, sikat siya ngayon, pero dati may mga dub smash. Okay? So, yan po, ano. We also have yung multimedia program development. O, pakibasa na lang din po nito. Uh, multimedia authoring software. Okay? Now, eto explain ko lang ito ng konti about program development. Remember your system development life cycle. Yung pinag-usapan natin sa unang, ano no, earlier discussions nito sa chapter 11. We have the planning, the analysis, design, implementation, and yung maintenance. Pagdating sa implementation, di ba may nabanggit ako doon na program development life cycle. So, at dito yun, papasok ano, meron din po yung cycle. Kagaya ng system development cycle, yung program development life cycle, it also guides computer programmers sa pagde-develop ng isang program. So, life cycle yan kasi may series of steps din. From analyze requirements, to design solution, to validate design, to implement design, to test solution, and then document solution. Okay? Or eto yon. Okay? Now, oh, ano ba ang nag initiate ng program development? Okay? O, kagaya ng na-discuss doon sa system development, na binubuo ito ng lima ano, doon sa analysis phase, yung development team may recommend no, paano i-handle yung mga pangangailangan for the software. Choices include modifying existing programs, purchasing package software, building custom software in-house, or outsourcing some or all of the IT operations. Okay. O, pakibasa po nito ano, as an additional um, reading reference. Now, eto, explain ko lang din. Uh, yung control structures. Kasi, when we are talking of, of course, program development or programming, no, may mga control structures yan. Pag sinabi nating control structure, ano, or also known as a construct, it depicts the logical order of program instructions. Paano ba yung flow? Yung logical flow nun. So, that is your control structure. It may be a sequence, it may be a selection, or it may be a repetition. And usually sa mga, let's say, di ba, sa formula mo sa Excel, o parang ganun din, ano, ma ma makokorek, or makoko, tawag dito, makokonek din natin, makakarelate tayo dito. Pag sinabi natin sequence control structure, o, you take first action 1, followed by action 2, followed by action 3. So, it shows one or more action following each other in order. So, hindi ka makakapag-proceed sa action 2 or action 3 hanggat hindi mo pa nagagawa ito. Okay? So, that is the logical flow under a sequence control structure. Sa selection control structure naman, o dito meron tayong dalawang klase. We have the if, then else, at saka yung case. Okay? O, if, then else control structure, when a program evaluates this condition, meron yung dalawang possibilities. True or false. Pag true, ganito. Pag false, ganyan. Pag case control naman, it can yield ano no, three or more possibilities. Pag if and then, dalawa yan, true or false. No? Two conditions. Pag case, more than. No? So, three or more possibilities. Ito po ang example ng ating ano no, selection. If then, okay? Kung true yung condition, gawin, perform action 1. Pag false yung condition, perform action 2. Pag case control structure, ito yung condition it may be more than 2, no? Condition 1, etong gawin mo. Kung condition 2 yung na-meet, no? Etong gawin mo. Same as condition 3 and condition 4. They will perform action 3 and 4 respectively. Okay? That is your selection control structure. The last one is your repetitive control structure. Meron tayo dito nung do-while control structure at saka do-until control structure. Pakita ko na lang ito sa inyo no, para makita ninyo yung difference. Pero pakibasa po nito, class. Okay? O, pause ko lang muna para hindi kayo mahirapan mag-pause later on. Do while control structure. Ito. Tapos, dito naman yung do until control structure. Okay? Ito naman po ang kanilang visual. Nakita ninyo ano? Sa do while control structure, Okay, ito yung condition. Pag true yan, perform the action. Pag false yan, no. 
Okay, and then loop. Sa do until, control structure, action ka muna. And then, o oh, ano yung, yung condition, true or false. So, you see the difference. Actually, ano, dito, gawa ka muna ng action. Dito, check mo muna yung condition. Kapag na-meet niya, okay, eh, di gawin yung action. Pero dito, action muna, then after that, oh, condition, true or false. So, yan po yung difference, no? Oh, meron ditong explanation sa figure 11.32. The do while control structure tests the condition at the beginning of the loop. It exits the loop when, ah, sorry, it exits the loop when the result of the condition is false. Sa do until control, test the condition at the end of the loop. It exits the loop when the result of the condition is true. Okay? So, magkabaliktad sila. Okay? So, class, ano, pakiread na lang itong mga additional slides na hindi ko na po in-explain. Okay? For your reading reference na lang po. Okay? Thank you very much. This is the end of our presentation. Yung last part, ano, hinati-hati ko pa talaga. Well, at least, no, may iksi lang sila. Pwede ninyo itong mabalikan agad-agad. Okay? So, maraming salamat. If you have any questions, please let me know para at least ma-assist ko kayo. Until then, bye-bye.